good morning you guys so i was thinking before i started this video i'm like i literally think i've started every single video in the car since vlogmas started i don't i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure i've started almost every single video in the car no there was one video that i didn't i think but i apologize for that the problem is is I'm getting my day started in the car normally. So that is when I want to chat you guys up. But now we have an even bigger problem because, so you guys remember the whole car issue. I'm not going to rehash it. I know it's probably super annoying, honestly, at this point, because I feel like I've been talking about it for a year. Also, what is happening? Why is this so bright? I'm going to sit over here. We're just going to do like a little maneuver. How about that? That might be like a change of pace for you guys because you it's just a different angle for me. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, we had to bring our car in and get it fixed. And so they're going to see if our insurance covers it, which would be amazing if it does. So that's what we did this morning. Dominic and I went and brought the car in and then I brought him to work. However, the stuff that's wrong with the car is a crazy laundry list of things and it's going to take them a long time time so they told us that it could take them up to a month to fix the car you guys which if you guys know what that means that means that we are going to be starting in the car every day because it's vlogmas or unless i have dominic go to work by himself sometimes which will be fine too but uh or you know what i mean <laughs> if i have to, if like i have dominic take the car and i don't drive because i'm gonna have to drive him to work every day now and it's fine because it'll get me up in the morning it'll get us going it'll get vlogmas on the road otherwise you know you know your girl likes to sleep in so i probably would have been doing that so anyway that is what just happened this morning i feel like i'm ripping and roaring this morning but i am about to go to lunch at this taco place with caitlin and i'm so excited because she's bringing little baby riley i'm probably not gonna vlog while i'm there just because like you know it's a baby <laughs> and i don't i don't know if she would want baby riley on camera so i'm probably not gonna vlog i might hopefully i'll get like a picture of my food or something for you guys but um then I will chat with you guys afterwards. I'm going to go get some coffee. I have been waking up with migraines super duper bad. And it's like just a migraine behind my eye. Could be like the weather change even or something. I usually get them when I'm super stressed. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not stressed this year about Vlogmas. But it's just a lot more. Like my, my days are a lot more. You know. So that could also be what is pertaining to my migraine in the morning. But that I'm fine by the middle of the day. Like I'm, I'm perfectly fine right now. I need coffee. But that's about it. So after I go with Caitlin. I'm going to go get some coffee. And it should be very delicious delicious and then we'll see what else this day has in store for us you guys i'm parked in a like different area right now <laughs> and it's so pretty <laughs> like these fall leaves have not all fallen yet and it is just gorgeous so i because i don't normally obviously drop dominic off this is the first time i've ever dropped dominic off at his job because he has his own car why would i but yeah that's what i'm gonna be doing that the rest of the month so get ready for that stay tuned dominic is not as excited as i am about it because he has to have like on his breaks i would have to come get him in order for him to like go anywhere on his breaks and he usually just goes to walmart and gets like he's crazy all he eats for lunch is a tuna packet so usually he just goes to walmart picks up a tuna packet i'm like why don't you buy a bunch of tuna packets first of all it's cold out now he could just leave them in his car and then he wouldn't have to go to walmart every day but now he doesn't have a car so he doesn't have to worry about that <laughs> but anyway um yeah he's not as excited as i am because well not even that i'm excited but i'm not actually excited at all because it, it just is it does add an extra thing to do every single day but it's really not a big deal he's just not pumped because he doesn't want me to have to come to him every day for his lunch because his lunch is a whole hour long and he's like you'll have to drive to me it'll take up a whole almost two hours of your day for you to come in like do lunch with me so i'd rather you just focus on doing stuff for vlogmas and stuff so it is what it is that's what i'm gonna do and he'll just have to eat he'll wait he didn't bring any food today he'll figure it out i suppose oh i feel so bad he didn't bring any food but he'll probably just buy from the I knew he was going to do that. He's going to just buy from the cafeteria on site. And I specifically told him yesterday when we were at Walmart that we need to get you some food. We need to pick up a couple of things for you to eat on your lunch breaks so you don't have to buy from the cafeteria. And we picked things up, but then I don't know why. I decided, why don't we just make you sandwiches or something? Because what we were buying were just these little trays of like cheese and crackers. It just was not enough food in my opinion. And then he, he put the stuff back and... 
and he was fine with that. He's like, oh, it's fine. I'll just put it back. And now he's probably going to buy from the cafeteria, which is fine. But, you know, you know me. I'm very skimpy with my money. <laughs> I don't want him spending money on cafeteria food because it's way more money to buy cafeteria food. <sighs> Screw it up. Screw it up, you guys. I should have just let him buy the weird cheese trays. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get the show on the road because Caitlin is going to be waiting for me. She just said she's gonna get to the restaurant and feed um Riley before we go. So I said, eh, I'll just take some time to talk to my children and <laughs> we will hang out before I go with her. But anyway, that's what's in store. Oh, you guys, I'm sorry. I keep trying to end this clip, but I always keep just wanting to talk to you guys. You know how I am. My bangs look cute today right like this is how they're supposed to look so they kind of look a little bit lopsided i'm aware of that but it's not their fault or my mom's fault because my mom cut these and i think they look so cute um but i have like a little colic over here so it kind of makes this side go up further than this side but i just think they're so adorable and she was right about it blending look at the color like the, originally when i got my highlights there was no like i felt like it was very like streaks of highlights because it was obviously but now it's blended so it's beautiful we love it and they're bouncy i just literally used my um my dyson air wrap and i like curled my hair up under to make these bangs super cute anyway you guys i'm gonna go and i will talk to you guys later today <laughs> Hey guys, so I just got back from, well, just got back. I got back about an hour ago from hanging out with Caitlin and going to get tacos. I um, then decided that I was going to take a nap because, just a second you guys, I'm putting my pants back on <laughs> because I decided to take a little nap because I had the biggest migraine of my life, honestly. And it was just it was a whole situation, you guys. I don't know why it feels weirder putting my pants on when I'm not doing a try-on haul than when I'm doing a try-on haul and I'm putting clothes on in front of you guys. It feels a little weirder when I'm just, I just took a nap and I'm just putting my pants on for the day. <laughs> but I am going to bring Sunday for a walk. I'm feeling so much better, though. Like, I didn't really nap, but I kind of just, like, rested my eyes because I... I think it's sinus pressure, you guys. Really, I do. Because I took some Sudafed before I rested my eyes. And I feel... I don't feel like a million times better. I'm not going to go that far. But I feel quite a bit better. So that's a plus. And now I'm going to bring Sunday for a little walk. And then when I get back, I was thinking of decorating my bedroom <laughs> for Christmas because I've been laying in there at nighttime before I go to sleep and like watching Christmas movies on the TV in there. And I think it would be nice to have it like all decorated and cute and be able to get like a clip for you guys before I go to bed or whatever, you know. So I think I'm going to do that when I get back. I still have all of our decorations sitting here that I need to get out. And then I ordered a bunch of different like lights to hang up everywhere. So that is the plan for the rest of the day. Had so much fun with Caitlin, by the way. I forgot I haven't checked in with you guys since. I picked up a coffee and I have not drank that yet. I, it's actually in the fridge because like I said, I just was not feeling good. Not even that I wasn't feeling good. I just, I, it was definitely sinus pressure. I felt it all through here. I felt it all through here. And that migraine was not going away. So that was mildly annoying. But the baby's so cute. And it was cool getting to, like, go out to eat with her. And, like, I don't know, see her be a mom. You know, like, it's always cool to watch your friends, like, do their thing being a mom. <laughs> so that was pretty neat. And also... Riley was such a good little baby like she literally didn't cry the whole entire time we were eating and I was shocked I mean, I just couldn't believe it normally kids would be crying So if you guys can't tell I'm definitely getting used to these bangs and I love them I think they're so cute, but like sometimes they'd be laying weird So the other thing I was supposed to do was get my eyebrows done today You guys we're like now a million days into vlogmas and I said I was gonna get my eye eyebrows done like the second day of vlogmas and I didn't but I'm just going to wait till tomorrow, you guys, because like I said, my headache was bad today. Tomorrow, we are actually bringing Sunday to get her hair um, groomed. I'm surprising Dominic with it, so that'll be a lot of fun, and we'll get to, I'll bring you guys along for that. We'll see her before and afters of her looking all sorts of cute tomorrow. But let me bring her for a walk because she's dying. She's been wanting to go for a walk since I got home, and it's already been an hour, like I said. I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs>
Hey guys, so <laughs> I did not do what I said I was gonna do. Not shocking, but a little frustrating because I really did have big plans for my day, you guys. But it got away from me because first of all, I lost an SD card and it had footage on it for hauls that I wanted to upload for you guys or at least edit and get uploaded eventually. And I lost the footage, so, or not, I didn't lose the footage, but I lost my SD card. So instead of doing and decorating my bedroom, I decided to tear apart my office and look for the SD card, which I was unable to find. So Dominic told me he would find it for me when he gets home. So we'll see if he's able to do that because he usually can find things that I can't so we will see like literally I got on the phone with him and he was like oh is it here is it here is it here like he knew exactly where he'd seen it last and I've seen it in those places as well it's not anywhere so I'm a little bit worried about that but I wanted to show you guys this massive candle I got while I was with my mom. I feel like I didn't really show you guys any of the stuff that I got when I went with her but look at this big candle regularly $24.99 a ridiculous price something I would not pay for this candle but it's a big candle it's a big honking candle it's bigger than my head I feel but I only paid I paid I think it was 75% off or something when I bought it with her and that's a steal because it's a fall candle so they said 75% off and I was about that life heavy though heavy and also not quite sure how we're going to burn this Dominic was asking me he's very <laughs> he really doesn't like he thinks very logically <laughs> and I love that about him he doesn't like to dream big <laughs> and think that this candle is something we could burn whenever we want because there's no outer out, outer like core to it it's just like wrapped in plastic so he's wondering how I would go about burning this and I just don't know so if you guys know if you're candleaholics like I am let me know how you would burn something like this because I feel like if we burn it all it's going to do is melt the it might just melt the inside and then this might the outer shell might just be an outer shell I don't know you guys but if you know let me know and then I wanted to open these other candles with you guys so that I can use them because I haven't been using them and um, or haven't been able to use them because I wanted to show them to you guys before I utilize them and I never did show them to you. So I ordered candles on Black Friday deal on Walmart and they were $10 for each Yankee candle. I know most people are Best Buy people, or not Best Buy people, most people are um, Bath and Body Works people. And I know that a lot of people like the Bath and Body Works candle. Well, your girl likes Yankee candle for whatever reason. I really don't know why. I cannot, I cannot understand my obsession with Yankee candle. Because everybody else likes um, Bath and Body Works. So, I don't know what it is. But, I'm going to show you guys all the candles that I ordered. Because they were on sale. Let's move that out of the way. They were on sale for 10 dollars for each candle so i haven't even opened them yet as you can see there's a story behind this one you guys this one really pissed me off <laughs> because dom or not dominic and i my mom and i went to pick it up at walmart and it was a black friday deal so we were it said that they would deliver it to our car and they did not they refused to deliver it to our car my mom and i like pulled into a spot for the black friday deal i checked in and everything nobody came out to deliver this to our car. Nobody even came out or called or told us anything about it. So we had to call the number on the thing. And the number on the thing went straight to somebody's personal voicemail, <laughs> which was a little bit crazy and obviously nobody answered. So I didn't have my mask at this time because I was not planning on going in to Walmart. So my mom had to go into Walmart and because we felt weird sharing masks. I don't know you guys, how do you feel about sharing masks? I feel like that's a weird thing to do. So does my mom. So my mom went in, she saw they had masks there. And so she was like, come on in, there's masks here. But I'm, I'm there, I have no bra on you guys. I'm not prepared to be going into Walmart. I suppose I, that that's okay that I could go into Walmart like that. But I didn't want to do that. But I did. So I get there and the lady's like, meet me at customer service. The lady on like the walkie talkie thing to the, she said it to the guy. So me and my mom are standing up at customer service. She comes and she's like, follow me. And she brings us all the way back to the garden center to pick up our product 
where like we could have just walked we as we're walking to the garden center to pick up our product to pick up the candles we walk by the yankee candles and they're all still on sale like i could have just picked them up there and it would have been so much faster but anyway that happened and she was not very nice i'll just say and also i did not have the prepared shoes for the occasion either so really if we're doing an online order you usually don't want to parade around walmart when you're trying to order online there's a reason you ordered online you know like what if i had my boot on still or something from when i sprained my ankle that was the other thing is i was wearing dominic's um sandals and they're like three sizes too big but i was just wearing them into the car you know you're not thinking i'm going to be going in somewhere anyway moral of the story there isn't one people love to <laughs> somebody said to me in one of my comments i forget who i don't even know who it was but they said you said moral of the story like four times and you never told me the moral of the story get to the point something really mean whatever it was but <laughs> let's open this up and i will show you guys this candle let's see i i got a bunch of like really nice um christmas candles so this is kind of weird so, so they did the shopping apparently for me let's see Oh, it smells so good. Oh, it cracked. Oh, no, it didn't. I thought it cracked. Christmas cookie. Okay. So now I can finally use these since I'm showing you guys. Oh, it smells so good. So I got Christmas cookie. Oh, you guys, sorry. I'm using my desktop for um, a little bit of lighting up in this joint because, you know, we need it because it's nighttime. And then we got one more that I got from in there. That was the other crazy thing, you guys. They also had me, like, I placed the order online, and I, what I really wanted was for them to deliver them to me. Like, I ordered them with my address, thinking they'll drop them off at my house. And they did. They dropped three of them off at my house, and then the other two, they were like, you have to come to the store, but we'll bring them out to you or whatever. But I did not know that. If I had known that, I probably wouldn't have ordered these other two, because I really didn't feel like going to the store. Mostly because my mom was in town, so, like, I didn't want to make her come to the store with me, you know, and she wouldn't have had anything to do otherwise. So, let's see what this one is. This one is Sugar Cinnamon Apple. Oh, this one smells great too. This one's a really nice fall candle. Not necessarily good for winter, but it smells amazing. So, good fall candle. And then, I have three more, you guys. So, then we have this one which is sparkling cinnamon also smells amazing oh my goodness i love it my mom doesn't really like these either she says she likes the um the hopefully these are focusing i can see that that light is kind of like reflecting weird on them but she likes this three wick which a lot of people do i don't really mind the one wick i feel like look at how much wax i'm getting compared to a three wick from anywhere else they're just so much shorter you know next up i don't understand why i got so many red ones i'm really not i don't know what i was thinking i got cranberry apple and um oh this one smells great too dominic's gonna love this one this one i wish i could show you guys what it smells like but this one is cranberry chutney Ooh, you guys, have you ever had cranberries also? <laughs> Side note on this, Dominic and I tried cranberries the other day. Do not recommend. <laughs> it was so bad. And Dominic really likes the little, like, dried cranberries. But they're sweetened, so they're, like, super sweet. So I'm not really a big fan. I prefer raisins, honestly. But we ended up getting um, the... Regular cranberries just on a whim because they were like sitting there because you know it's the holidays obviously people just have that kind of stuff out <laughs> and highly do not recommend it was not good it was very tart and I see why they sweeten the other ones okay last but not least this is my I'm pretty sure this one's gonna be my favorite they also had a one um a one candle minimum or yeah no not minimum <laughs> a one candle maximum for each of the flavors or scents I mean um and so I couldn't get like if I could have gotten all of this scent I would have because this is by far my favorite it's like Christmas tree scent you know uh, it smells so good just coming out of the box like it shits all over these other ones like I don't want them anymore <laughs> this smells so good it's the balsam and cedar it smells so good you guys oh my goodness so this one is the balsam and cedar and 
We love it. So, I'm really excited because now I can actually use them. I was holding on to them until I showed them to you, and then I just I forgot to show them to you until I was cleaning my room, and I was like, I need to get rid of all this stuff, so I need to show them this. But, it's 7.30 now. I probably should go get him. We're going to have um, squash, I think he made. Uh, it's like a butternut squash um, soup and it looks so good. I'm so pumped about it. He made it in the crock pot and he like pureed it or something. I don't know. I don't know how I made it, but it has been making my house smell amazing all day. So that is what we're having for dinner. But other than that, you guys, sorry that we didn't decorate today. Tomorrow, it may be a better day. We need to get my eyebrows done though. That is on the list. <laughs> so anyway, I love you guys and I will end this with the butternut squash soup and I am going to go pick him up in a couple of minutes. So I will see you guys in the morning. <laughs>